Now, let's take a look at how to create a store, reducer, and action in the React application. In the previous lecture, we understand what is store, reducer, and action. In this lecture, we're going to talk about how you can add all these three important concepts in your React application. Redux is a simple 2KB library. You can just simply add this library in your React application by using npm install command. So you just need to open your terminal, change your directory and enter into your project directory. Inside your project directory, you need to just execute a command npm node package manager i4 install and then install Redux. Along with that, you need a library React Redux. So I'm going to install that as well. So I'm going to say here React Redux. Make sure the name of both these libraries is exactly same. Otherwise, you will get an error message. So I'm going to just install Redux and React Redux in my application first. So I'm going to press enter here. This will just take a few seconds to install both this library in my application. Once I've done that, let me clear the screen. Back to my bash one and restart my server like this. So let's first understand how to create an action. So I'm going to just create a new folder inside this source folder right here. I'm going to create a new folder and I'm going to name it Redux. And inside this Redux folder, I'm going to create a new file and name this file Redux info dot js inside this redux info let me first create a redux action so as i said in the previous lecture action is just a pure javascript object so let me just first create here a command and say here action to create an action we start with a constant keyword or you can start with the let or var keyword as well if you don't want to change the value of this object you can use constant here so i'm going to start with the constant and then specify the action name i'm going to say here add to do action you can specify any name to this action that's upon you this is just a variable name and i'm going to specify equal to sign and then pass an object here a simple javascript object inside this object you have two keys first is a type and second is a payload using this first key we specify what type of action is this i want to create a new post so i'm going to just say here inside this type create this is always a best practice to put your action in a capital letters. So when you call this action in the reducer, the action will not mismatch. So we put the action in a capital letters. So this is a type of create action. Just out of that, as I said, inside a payload, we pass the data that we want to update in the store. So for example, inside this payload, if I say a new post for Redux. So when I call this action, React will update the state with this payload. You can notice how easy it is to create an action in Redux application. We just created a simple object with two keys. Now you might have multiple types or multiple actions inside this object. That's upon you. Now let's see how to create a reducer. To create a reducer, I'm going to first create here a command and say reducer. Creating reducer in Redux is super easy. Reducer is a pure JavaScript function. To create a reducer, I'm going to start with the constant keyword and then say here, reducer. You can specify any name to this constant keyword. And just for understanding, I specify here, reducer. And then I'm going to pass here a pure function. So I'm going to pass here an arrow function like this. To this parenthesis, I'm going to pass two parameters. First is a state and second is an action. State parameter is an initial value of the store. An action help us to update the initial state value. Without an action, you can't update the store. And this store is going to return a simple state. So this is a simple syntax of reducer. Now the reducer first parameter is the initial state of your store. So when we create a reducer, we pass the initial state to this parameter. For example, if I just create here a variable, constant initial state is equal to and inside this object, I'm going to say here, post and pass an add here. So I'm going to just create here a simple initial state and pass post key to it. And the value is empty array. I'm going to pass this initial state to this parameter. So I'm going to just specify here equal to sign and then specify here initial state like this. So this is the default value of this state parameter. Now, just out of that, we have here a second parameter called action. Using this action, we return the updated state. For example, 
here inside this reducer i'm going to add here an action i'm going to say here if inside this parenthesis inside a condition i'm going to say action dot type if it is equal to create then i'm going to return state plus one i'm going to just update this state value by one now keep in mind this is just a syntax of reducer i'm not updating this initial value because as you can see here inside this initial value i have post and i'm updating this state directly without accessing this post key this is just a syntax we use action parameter to check the action using if or switch statement and then in the action we return the updated state that's the simple use of reducer and then once we have the reducer we pass this reducer to the store so just down here i'm going to create a store so i'm going to add here a command and say store to create a store i'm going to say here constant store is equal to and i'm going to call here a function call create store as you know we don't have this function inside this file let me just import it at the top here i'm going to say import in the current braces i'm going to say create store from in the single code i'm going to say redux from the redux package i'm going to get this create store function we need to pass here curly braces because create store is not a default export so i'm going to say here create store so i can easily access this create store function and as a parameter you can see you need to pass here reducer so i'm going to say here reducer like this so this will just simply create a store in redux and at the end you need to just export this store so this statement is simply going to create a store using the reducer now this is the syntax of action reducer and a store next we're going to create a simple example of redux and see how to work with store reducer and action together